Learn Real Japanese. Vocabulary lesson. Hi, this is AJ. Let's learn the vocabulary for this first lesson set. So I'll explain it in English. Let's start with our first word. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Okay, that basically means hello. It's a way of saying、um, hello, a way of greeting someone. And it's used in the、uh, afternoon primarily, during the daytime. So it's, it's not in the morning and it's not at night when it's dark. It's kind of during the, the normal daytime hours. If you want to greet someone, you want to say hello. In Japanese, you say, Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Okay, great. The next little phrase you'll hear in the lesson is, Tomoe desu. Tomoe desu. Okay, so desu basically means is in, in English. You know, it's not exact, but it, it gives the idea of is, exists. So this means,、um, I am Tomoe, or this、yeah. is Tomoe, something like that is how we would say it in English. So, desu is kind of like to, the verb to be in English. So, say that whole phrase again. Tomoe desu. Tomoe desu. Mayumi desu. Mayumi desu. So, that just means I'm Mayumi. Next phrase. Ran real Japanese e yokoso. Ran real Japanese e yokoso. E yokoso. Okay, so learn real Japanese. Obviously, that's the English name of these lessons. Yokoso means welcome. Welcome. Now, that e in there is something you're going to see in different、uh, parts of Japanese. You're going to see these little short words. E is one of them, and these are called particles. We're Not going to explain complicated grammar in these lessons because it just confuses you, it slows down your speaking and understanding. So, all you need to know is that that little word, e, gets added into this phrase when we're saying, you know, welcome. So, let's just say it again. Ran real Japanese, e, yokoso. So, this basically means welcome to learn real Japanese. So, that e in this phrase. Has the idea of two. Now it can have other meanings in different situations, but here it kind of gives the idea of two. So say the phrase again one more time. Ran real Japanese, eh? Yokoso. Ran real Japanese, eh? Yokoso. It's welcome to learn real Japanese. Okay, let's go on to our next word first. Watash tachi to. Watash tachi to. Watash tachi. Okay, so there's. This is another case of those little particle words、uh, being added to something. That first word, watashitachi. Watashitachi. that just means us or we, right? We or us. And then when you add this, to, when you add that little particle word, it's kind of like that e you just learned. That to kind of means、um, with. Or together, so with, so it kind of means with us. Okay, so with us. Watashitachi, if you could say that correctly in Japanese. Watashitachi. That just means we or us. Ishoni. Good, that's our next phrase. Ishoni. Means together. Ishoni. Together. So the whole phrase means together with us. Together with us. Nihongo. Nihongo. Okay, you may not hear that there's another particle word in there.、That's, that particle word is. O.、Oh. Mm -hmm, one more time. O.、Oh. It's hard to hear, but the, the first part of that phrase is just the word. Nihongo. Nihongo. That means Japanese language. Nihongo. Nihongo. That's Japanese language. O. That's another particle word. That just shows that something is, is kind of the object of a sentence. It's a, it's a grammar 
word. In Japanese, a lot of grammar is shown through these particle words, not so much through, let's say, like the word order in English. Instead, they're using these particle words. Again, you don't need to memorize a bunch of complicated rules about when you use this. Oh. Just get comfortable hearing it, and you'll eventually get a feeling for which of these particle words you should use in what situation. Just learn the whole phrases and don't don't worry too much about these little particle words right now. So let's get the whole phrase again. Nihongo, Nihongo. Great. And now the last piece of the sentence. Benkyo shimasho. Benkyo shimasho. Let's start with the first part of that. Benkyo means study. Benkyo. Study. And then. Shimasho. It means let's do. Is basically what it means. Let's do. So the whole phrase together. Benkyo shimasho. Means let's study. Like let's do study is how you would maybe translate it to English. But what it really means is let's study. Benkyo shimasho. Let's study. Benkyo shimasho. Now you can see the word order obviously is much different in Japanese than in English, and that grammar is used with these little particle words. Don't worry, don't get too ups- upset about all this if it seems difficult. It's normal for this to seem very difficult in the beginning. Just get used to it, just relax. So, what this whole thing means is let's study Japanese together. Now, the way the, way the Japanese actually say it, if you kind of directly said it in English, would be. Us to, with us together, Japanese, let's study. That's the word order in English. So the word order is a little different. So let's say the whole thing again. And that is the introduction to the lesson. That's not really part of the lesson. You don't need to worry if you don't understand that. That's a Fairly long, complicated sentence right at the beginning. They're just welcoming you to the lesson. So let's get to the actual mini story lesson. This is what you should really focus on when you're studying. Okay, so let's begin. Okay, that little word again at the end. Ga. There's another grammar particle word. So again, don't worry about it. It's just showing, you know, that something is like a subject of a sentence. So, the main word you want to focus on is. Onna no ko. Onna no ko. Onna no ko. And that means girl. One more time. Onna no ko. Means girl. Onna no ko. Girl. And then the, add the little particle, just shows it's the subject. Onna no ko ga. Onna no ko ga. Great, that's the whole phrase. The second part is the verb. Verbs are usually at the end of sentences in Japanese. You'll notice that very quickly. Imasu. 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 That means uh, there is or there are. The way that we use there is or there are in English, they use the word. Imasu. Now, this word. Imasu. Is used with people or living things. So, there is or there are. So let's say the whole phrase together. Onna no ko ga imasu. So there is a girl. Now in Japanese they say a girl there is. The word order is different. Onna no ko ga imasu. Onna no ko ga imasu. So girl there is is what that actually translates to. Let's go to the next part of the story. Onna no ko no no. Okay, now you hear that same word. no ko. Again, girl. And now we have a different particle word at the end of it. No. No. Okay, no. No is shows kind of uh, possession is one of its uses. So it's kind of like in English when we have a little apostrophe s, like girls, the girls. You know, chair, the girl's money, the girl's shirt, right? It means it belongs to her. Well, Japanese don't use an S. Instead, they say. No. So the whole phrase meaning girls. 
女の子の Good, next. 名前は Okay, so let's just listen to that first word. 名前名前 That means name. One more time. 名前 means name. 名前 Name. Now the second part is another little particle word. You're getting a lot of them right in the beginning. わわわ Again, this is a very common one. Also shows the, that something is the subject of a sentence. Now, when do you use ga and when do you use wa? Don't worry about it.、They're, you're not going to study a bunch of rules about that. You'll get a feeling for it the more you listen to Japanese. You'll start to notice patterns that with certain words in certain situations you use ga, and in other situations and other word phrases you'll use wa. Don't think about it too much. Just learn the stories. Just understand what they both mean. That's all you need to do. So let's talk about this whole first phrase of this sentence. So remember the, that first part? Means girls. The second part means name. So girl's name. And then that last little thing just shows us the subject of the sentence. So it's saying girl's name and then. Kitty desu. Kitty desu. Remember that. Kitty desu.、Mm-hmm. Desu. Means is or are or to be. So. Kitty desu. Means is kitty. Kitty desu. Is kitty. So the whole sentence means the girls, we, they don't use the in Japanese. So in English we would say the. Girl's name or a,、uh, we use you know, a or we use the. Japanese does not do this. So if, if I use those when I'm translating, it's just because it's a habit of mine in English that that's how we would properly say it in English. But in Japanese, they do not have those kind of words. They do not use those. So in Japanese, they directly say, Girl's name Kitty is. Girl's name Kitty is. This is the proper word order in Japanese. So let's listen to that whole thing. Girl's name Kitty is. Onna no ko no namae wa Kitty desu. Onna no ko no namae wa Kitty desu. So again, that's girls. Onna no ko no namae wa Kitty desu. Girl's name Kitty is. The girl's name is Kitty, is how we would say it in English. Okay, let's go on to the next sentence in the story. The next sentence in the story is translated as There is a monkey. So, Samoa, why don't you say that whole thing? Saru ga imasu. Saru ga imasu. Okay, let's just go word by word now first. Saru. One more time. Saru. That means monkey. Very simple. Saru. Monkey. Now you'll remember here's another one of our little particle words. Ga. Ga. We had that in the previous sentence too. It just shows again something is the subject of the sentence. So, monkey is the subject of the sentence. And then that last word. Imasu. Imasu. Again, that's the same word from before. It means there is, or it can mean there are. So, it just means there is a monkey. Again, the Japanese say, monkey, there is. That's the order in Japanese. Monkey, there is. There is a monkey in English. So, let's hear it again. Saru ga imasu. Saru ga imasu. Okay, there is a monkey. And then next, we're going to hear the monkey's name. The monkey's name is Beckham. The monkey's name is Beckham, is how we would say it in English. Let's hear it in Japanese. Saru no namae wa Beckham desu. Saru no namae wa Beckham desu. So again, we hear the first word. Saru. Monkey. Saru. Monkey. And then we hear that possessive again, you know, like, like monkey's name, right? It belongs to the monkey. So we hear that word is. No. No. Good. And then we hear the word for name. Namae. Namae. Great. And then we hear another word that shows it's the subject of the sentence. Wa. Wa. And then Beckham is just a name, person's name. And then finally we hear. Desu. Desu. Which means is 
are or to be. So in Japanese, re reading it as if it was English, we would say, monkey's name, Beckham is. Monkey's name, Beckham is. Monkey's name, Beckham is. In English, we would properly say it as, the monkey's name is Beckham. Let's hear it in Japanese. Saru no namae wa Beckham desu. Saru no namae wa Beckham desu. Okay, very good. Now that is the whole story, just a few sentences. You're getting a lot of Japanese in just a few sentences, as you can see. Uh, uh, there's, there's a lot of little grammar points here. You're starting to learn the order of the sentences in Japanese. Again, don't worry about it if it all seems like a whole lot in the beginning. The sounds seem strange. The word order is different. These particle words are strange for English speakers. All that's fine. It's all normal. In a, in a few weeks, all of this will seem very easy and totally normal. No big deal. So you just have to listen to these every day, every day for at least a week, more if you want to, and then it becomes more familiar, more easy each time. So don't worry if in the beginning it feels tough. It feels tough for everybody in the beginning. Okay, let's go to the questions now because then they start asking some questions. You're going to learn how to ask questions in Japanese. So the first question you'll hear is, Okay, now the first word you'll remember is just girl again from the story. Can you hear that particle word again that shows it's the subject? Ga. Ga. Okay, and then finally you hear a word that you, you also know. Imasu. Imasu. Right, there is. So just that part of the sentence means girl there is, but then to make something a question in J Japanese is very easy. You just add a little word at the end of the sentence, and that word is... Ka. 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 That is a question word or a question particle. It's another one of these little little tiny words in Japanese. That's how you make something a question. So if you just have a statement in Japanese, there is a girl. If you want to turn it into a question, you make it a question, you just add the word ka at the end. So you would say, there is a girl ka. If we were doing it in English, that would mean it's now a question. Is there a girl? So let's hear it again in, in the Japanese word order. It's girl there is, and then the question word, ka? Onna no ko ga imasu ka? Onna no ko ga imasu ka? So without the ka, it's just saying there is a girl. Onna no ko ga imasu. That just means there is a girl. Now to ask it a question, is there a girl? We add ka at the end. That's all we do. Onna no ko ga imasu ka? And now you know how to make questions in Japanese. Just add ka. Okay, now then we hear the answer to that question. Hai. 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 Means yes in Japanese. Very simple. Hai. Hai. Means yes. Hai means yes. Okay, so then we go on to the next question. You're going to hear a new word now. Otokonoko. That means boy. That means boy. So let's say girl. Onna no ko. And then boy. Otokonoko. Hear that? T otokonoko. 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 Boy. Otokonoko. Boy. Now girl. Onna no ko. Girl again. Onna no ko. And now boy. Otokonoko. Boy. Otoko no ko. Okay, this is a question, so the whole question is. Otoko no ko ga imasu ka? Otoko no ko ga imasu ka? So, in English, that would be boy, there is. Question? <laughs> right? Boy, there is, and then the question word ka. So, the whole thing. Otoko no ko ga imasu ka? So, they're asking, is there a boy? Is there a boy? And there's not a boy in the story. There's only a girl and a monkey. So the answer is... Iie. Iie. No. Iie. Is no in Japanese. Iie. Iie. No. Iie. No. 
And so those are the main words, the main Japanese words you will hear in the mini story. Now, in some of the later questions, you'll learn a couple more words. So we'll just teach them to you individually. One word you'll hear in a question is the word inu. That means dog. Inu. Dog. Inu. Dog. And then you'll also hear cat in one of the questions. Neko. 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 Is cat. So dog. Inu. Cat. Neko. Dog. Inu. Cat. Neko. Great. Quite simple. You'll hear some different names in the question. So they'll be asking you, you know, is the monkey's name something else? And of course the answer will be no. So you'll just hear a few names. One Japanese name you'll hear is... Hanako. Hanako. It's just a Japanese person's name. Jiro. Jiro. It's another Japanese name. And then finally... Betty. Betty. Of course that's the English name, Betty. So those are just names that you'll hear. You'll hear one question phrase that's very important uh, towards the end of the questions, and you need to learn that. So let's learn it now. Nan deska? Nan deska? Nan deska? Okay, you hear you hear a word you know. Desu. Desu. That's to be, is, is, or are. And then you hear another word you know. Ka. That just makes it a question. Ka. One more time. Ka. So it's asking is and it's a question. So what is so the only new word here is nan. Nan. That means what? It's the question word what. Nan. Nan. Okay, so the whole phrase nan desu ka means what is. Nan desu ka? What is or maybe in some situations what is it? Nan desu ka? What is? 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 Important phrase. Finally, hear the word. Sayonara. Sayonara. Means goodbye. So you're, when you're leaving, you're parting from someone, you would say. Sayonara. One more time. Sayonara. 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 Okay, very good. That's goodbye. So that covers all of the mini story lesson, the first one. Now you also hear a point of view story where they change the story to the past. So this entire mini story lesson is in the present, right? talking about as if it's happening now. And then you'll hear in the point of view story, the POV story, they just change the whole thing to happening in the past. That's the only difference. So you'll notice that the verbs desu, imasu, change a little bit to make them past tense. It's very simple, actually. So let's hear the past tense. Imashita. 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 So in the present, what is it? Imasu. Imasu. And in the past? Imashita. Imashita. And then we hear in the present? Imasu. In the past? Imashita. Okay, good. And then we have the verb desu. So in the present, how do you say it? Des. And in the past? Deshita. Des. Deshita. Past? Deshita. So that's was. That's was or were. Deshita. And then there was or there were is? Imashita. Right? So what you're hearing here is just? Shita. Shita. And again? Shita. If you add? Shita. To the verbs, it makes them past. So again, in the present, we have desu. Desu. And in the past, deshita. Right? So all, we're just adding shita. Again, we're adding shita. And again, in the present, we have imasu. And in the past, imashita. Right? Imashita is there was or there were. Deshita means was or were. And that's it. That's, it's very, very easy to do the past tense in Japanese. You'll be happy to know. So just listen to that point of view story um, many times and listen to the mini story several times. And in that way, you'll get very comfortable with the Japanese present 
and the Japanese past tense, and you don't need to study a lot of rules. Now, the thing that's quite tough for non-Japanese speakers can be these particle words, because uh, it's hard to know sometimes. When do you use wa? When do you use ga? When do you use to? When do you use e? And if you study Japanese grammar textbooks, there will be long, complicated rules about mm -hmm. this, but that just confuses you. You, can't, you have no time to think about that stuff when you're actually speaking to someone. So the better way is just to learn them from these natural phrases, these natural sentences, and repeat the listening again and again and again. And in that way, it will become natural. You'll get an intuitive, a natural feeling for when to use which particle word. Yeah. Okay, so again, listen to the mini story every day for at least a week for lesson one. Listen to the point of view version every day, several times for both of these, hopefully, every day for at least a week. And listen to this vocabulary lesson as long as you need to to learn the vocabulary. And that's it. Thank you. Thank you, and see you next time. Bye bye. こんにちは。友恵です。眉美です。ランリアルジャパニーズへようこそ。私たちと一緒に日本語を勉強しましょう。ミニストーリーです。女の子がいます。女の子の名前はキティです。猿がいます。猿の名前はベッカムです。女の子がいます。女の子の名前はキティです。猿がいます。猿の名前は。ベッカムです。クエスチョン。女の子がいますか？女の子がいますか？はい。男の子が。いますか？男の子がいますか？いいえ。女の子の名前はキティですか？女の子の名前はキティですか？ はい。女の子の名前はベティですか？女の子の名前はベティですか？いいえ。猿がいますか？猿が。いますか? はい。猿の名前はベッカムですか? 猿の名前はベッカムですか? はい。犬がいますか? 犬がいますか? いいえ。猫がいますか? 猫がいますか? いいえ。
いますか女の子がいますか。はい。女の子の名前はキティですか。女の子の名前はキティですか。かはい。女の子の名前は花子ですか。女の子の名前は花子ですか。いいえ。猿がいますか。猿がいますか。はい。猿がいます。猿の名前はベッカムですか。猿の名前はベッカムですか。はい、ベッカムです。女の子の名前はベッカムですか。女の子の名前はベッカムですか。いいえ、女の子の名前はキティです。女の子の名前はキティです。女の子の名前は何ですか。女の子の名前は何ですか。女の子の名前はキティです。女の子の名前はキティです。猿の名前は何ですか。猿の名前は何ですか。猿の名前はベッカムです。猿の名前はベッカムです。猿の名前はジローですか。猿の名前はジローですか。いいえ、猿の名前はベッカムです。猿の名前はベッカムです。女の子の名前は。花子ですか。女の子の名前は花子ですか。いいえ、女の子の名前はキティです。女の子の名前はキティです。女の子がいますか。女の子がいますか。はい。女の子がいます。女の子がいます。犬がいますか。犬がいますか。
いいえ、猿がいます。猿がいます。男の子がいますか？男の子がいますか？いいえ、女の子がいます。女の子がいます。猿の名前は何ですか？猿の名前は何ですか？猿の名前はベッカムです。猿の名前はベッカムです。女の子の名前は何ですか？女の子の名前は何ですか？女の子の名前はキティです。女の子の名前はキティです。では今日はここまで。This lesson has been copyrighted by LearnRealJapanese.com。このレッスンは LearnRealJapanese の著作権に基づいて作成されています。さようなら。さようなら。こんにちは。ランリアルジャパニーズのともえです。まゆみです。ミニストーリーの過去形です。パスティンス。女の子がいました。女の子の名前はキティでした。サルがいました。猿の名前はベッカムでした。女の子がいました。女の子の名前はキティでした。猿がいました。猿の名前はベッカムでした。Question: 女の子がいましたか？女の子がいましたか？はい。女の子の名前はキティでしたか。女の子の名前はキティでしたか。はい。男の子がいましたか。男の子がいましたか。いいえ。女の子の名前は花子でしたか。女の子の名前は花子でしたか。いいえ。猿がいましたか。猿がいましたか。はい。サルの名前はベッカムでしたか。サルの名前はベッカムでしたか。はい。犬が
いましたか犬がいましたかいいえ女の子がいましたか女の子がいましたか。はい、女の子がいました。女の子がいました。男の子がいましたか。男の子がいましたか。いいえ、女の子がいました。女の子がいました。女の子の名前はベティでしたか。女の子の名前はベティでしたか。女の子の名前はキティでした。女の子の名前はキティでした。猿の名前はキティでしたか。猿の名前はキティでしたか。いいえ、猿の名前はベッカムでした。猿の名前はベッカムでした。猫がいましたか？猫がいましたか？いいえ、猿がいました。猿がいました。猿の名前は何でしたか。猿の名前は何でしたか。猿の名前はベッカムでした。猿の名前はベッカムでした。女の子の名前は何でしたか。女の子の名前は何でしたか。女の子の名前はキティでした。女の子の名前はキティでした。男の子の名前はキティでしたか。男の子の名前はキティでしたか。いいえ、女の子の。名前はキティでした。女の子の名前はキティでした。猿がいましたか。猿がいましたか。はい。猿がいました。猿がいました。猿の名前はキティでしたか。猿の名前はキティでしたか。いいえ、猿の名前はベッカムでした。猿の名前はベッカムでした。
ベッカムは猿でしたかベッカムは猿でしたかはい、ベッカムは猿でした。ベッカムは猿でした。キティは女の子でしたかキティは女の子でしたかはい、キティは女の子でした。キティは女の子でしたでは今日はここまで。This lesson has been copyrighted by l a n r e a l j a p a n e s e c o m このレッスンは、l a n r e a l j a p a n e s e の著作権に基づいて作成されています。さようなら。さようなら。